Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the last video, we have seen how to fine-tune a llama model to adapt domain knowledge. The fine-tuned model is able to generate some text to complete the given phrase. But it is not useful to perform any downstream tasks such as question answering. In today's video, we will see how to fine-tune a model to perform question answering task. So, let's get started. From the research paper that you have seen in the last video, I was able to generate a dataset with 321 question and answer pairs, using GGUF model of LAMA2. Please check the description for the link to the notebook that I have used. Let's use this dataset to fine-tune the model that was trained to adapt the domain knowledge of the paper. Alternatively, you can also use any base model to perform the task-specific fine-tuning. In that case, it will also learn the domain while learning to perform the task. Here, I am in Collab Notebook, connected to T4 GPU instance. Most of the steps in this notebook are same as shown in the previous video. Before starting, let's upload the dataset. Now, let's install the necessary libraries. Import packages from the installed libraries. Read the dataset. Create a new column, text, by concatenating question and answer columns. This column will be feeded to the model. Now that we have text column created, let's print and see one entry of that column. So, I have both question and answer in one column. You can also include an optional prompt that gives specific instruction to the model. Let's drop other columns. Convert the dataset into Hugging Face dataset format. The dataset is converted and it has only one column with 321 rows. Alternatively, you can also load any open source dataset from Hugging Face, by uncommenting these lines of code. Now, let's define the model ID with the name of the model that we saved to Hugging Face in the last video. As mentioned, you may use any other base model. Log into the Hugging Face hub in order to load this model. Define the bits and bytes configuration. Load the tokenizer. Now, load the model with bits and bytes configuration. Next, create LoRa configuration for the PEFT library. Define the training arguments. Here, I have taken 10 epochs and a batch size of 2, but you can modify these parameters as per the size of your dataset and the available memory. Next, create the SFT trainer. And now, start the training. Make sure, the model is saved once the training is finished. The training is finished and the model is saved. Now, let's load this model and test it with few questions. But before that clear some memory occupied by the model. Load the PEFT model. Define a prompt with a question taken randomly from the training dataset. The question is, what is the output format of the tasks that the Florence 2 model can handle? And, here is the ground truth that the model is expected to generate. The output format of the tasks that the Florence 2 model can handle is text forms, whether it be captioning, object detection, grounding or segmentation. Let's see if the model can answer it correctly. Here, is the answer generated by the model, and yes, it is matching with the ground truth. You can try to ask more questions to understand the model's performance. 
Now, let's merge the LoRa adapters with the base model and save it. Once the merged model is saved, you can push it to the Hugging Face Hub for future use. That's all for this video. In summary, we have done task-specific fine-tuning of the Domain Adapted Llama 2 model, to perform question-answering task. Please check the description for links to the dataset and notebooks. I hope you liked this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe this channel for more updates on Gen AI. See you in the next video.